All right, you're going to have to get... You know, I didn't even think to check if there was a software update. Of course there's a software update. I didn't even think about that. It's actually going pretty fast. So we are playing... I'm not playing the PC port. Um, I'm playing the Switch port. Because there, in the PC port, there's an achievement to not play the game for five years. And while I'm pretty sure it has been five years since I've last played the Stanley Parable... Eh, why risk it? You know... Plus, I bought the game on Switch a while ago, so it, you know, it just makes sense to play it on Switch. Because I've been waiting for the Switch version to go on sale for a while now, actually. But here it is. It's finally on sale. So we're finally playing it. Well, it was on sale, like, back in, like, April. And I picked it up then. And we just kind of, and I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to get around to playing it. And now here we are. So I have let's play this game once before. Um, I let's play this game, like I said, like five years ago ish, maybe even longer than that. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Fantastic game. And then the ultra deluxe version came out eh, like a year, year and a half ago now. And I've always been like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play the ultra deluxe version eventually. And so here we are. Yes. Until the computer is barely visible. I'm gonna, I'm usually more generous with these things. Current time is 12. Oh wait, is this I'm going to try to get it to 1210. Okay, so I'll confirm here in like 10 seconds. Oh. So my sinuses are all out of whack. Oh my god, I think I've got a post-Christmas... Something or other. I'm surprised it just doesn't use the Switch's in-game uh, thing. The Switch is like in-game clock or whatever. Oh, and there are achievements. I'm not going to worry about it. So I have gotten, there's a bunch of new stuff in the Ultra Deluxe version, new endings and whatnot. I specifically want to go to the church. I've always this been kind of curious the about the church. Of a man named Stanley. But we'll have to get there first. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, 
frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Yeah, guy was he had just simply a pencil missed a memo. sharpener. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I hate Mondays. So I remember when this was originally, I think it was either Gary's Mod or Half-Life. I remember the original Stanley Parable. When Stanley came and then they eventually made it into doors, like an actual game. He entered the door on his left. For now, we're just going to kind of go along with things. You know, we'll we'll do many playthroughs. Many things are going to happen. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Passive aggressively on other coworkers, resent coworker for not supporting you more. Ah, classic. Ready to get the best ending? No, we'll we'll come back and do that later. My favorite Coming ending is the blue room Stanley closet upstairs ending. To his boss's office. I tell all my friends, hey, did you get the broom closet ending? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. So, so I have let's played this game before, and I have got I got every ending in the original game. So I kind of like more or less. I, I definitely remember less ending. about every Stanley ending than I do more. He felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now, I know there's a way to get up there. I want to say that's one of the other endings. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant okay, nothing. Okay, we're right there. 427, right? Yeah, that's our little office. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Fired. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. 
He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I think that's right. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Yep, uncertainty for sure. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, woo, happy, sure. Achievement, beat the game, get your first achievement. So I start off with that ending. Because I well, one, I remember every YouTuber I, I watched like that played this game back in the day never got this ending. The first time I ever saw the, you know, beat the game ending, as we're gonna call it for lack of a better word, was when I got it myself. Cause, you know, it's more fun to um, go off the beaten path, to go against the narrator. But, you know, nobody really does that. So, you know, might as well just do it. And then we can start to get crazy. Oh, uh, here's one. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. There you go. The refusal to choose is a choice.
All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep. When Stanley came this to time we're going to open, we're going to do the exact opposite. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. So now, vending machines here, always make me think of um. What's is it um super liminal where you can get like the tiny sodas and the Yes. Yeah. But he do some fun things to with business. That. Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Now we can die if we jump off here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? No. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that yeah. I want something Fork bad off, to happen kid. to you? Why? Uh, I I'm not playing with your games. You of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something no. beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. No, nope, I don't chance. believe you. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No. Aha! <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked this ain't gonna through work. the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red no. door. No. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to yeah, know I do what I want. what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written yes. out specifically yes. for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go um, ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. No? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next yeah. time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking I'm or just engagement with chaos. your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Feedback area. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Repairable worldwide leaderboard. And down here, all at the very bottom, is you. A dead rat. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I no. nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. I now, is this still what I think it is? 
In this game, the oh, baby crawls okay. left towards danger. Maybe that happens you click later. You the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh god. I don't remember the sound being there. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, how awful. So. So, if you do this for four hours, you do get an ending. I want to say after two hours, he adds in a puppy. It's technically the one ending I've never gotten. What? Oh god, that sound. Oh. The baby. I'm talking more about the button. Let's just kill the baby. You heartless bastard. Yes. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's yes? the latter, well, I don't Question know what mark? to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for no. you. But yeah, no, there I'm is an actual achievement for doing that for I'm four out. hours. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so this must be what I'm thinking of. Oh, it's Firewatch this time. Fascinating. What do you think oh. this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of I don't think Firewatch is on Switch. Purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. So, in the original version, this was Minecraft. It was originally a Minecraft joke. But here in the Ultra Deluxe, I guess they made a Firewatch joke instead. Honestly, equally valid jokes, in my opinion. I have not played Firewatch. It's always been one of those games where it's always like, oh, I'll get around to it. And I never have. I've heard a lot of things about the ending. Some good, some bad. I don't know. I remember watching a video essay like a year or so ago. That was like, oh, no. Right? This is actually... The ending's actually good. You just didn't get it. it and it explained why it's the ending worked. It's an open worked. world game. Good God, quickly, block it off. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that... that... thing. That big, open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big... Insurmountable walls. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I think this will be just the thing. Come on, you. Where are we gonna get? Oh. One. Okay. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Again, just Stanley nice Parable is older than Rock. I don't know if it's older than Firewatch, but I know it's older than Rock. get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Come on, 
let's get a goal. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked yes. so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely... Hold on. What are you doing? I don't know what we're doing. Oh. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Huh. Well, this isn't good. Okay, that just goes back to where we came from. This might be the original. Like, the original, um... Gmod version. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the original. I don't remember this. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. There's so many things I don't know. He'll understand remember. soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Alright, so I think that's one ending. So... God, I don't remember. It's been so long. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New co New content? Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content. Oh, you you've enticed me, game. This was not where I was planning on going. No, I had other plans. I was going to go get the best ending. For playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 I... on home computers. Again, I let's played it in like 2015. 2016. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure we'll get it's there. just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. <laughs> oh god, this Yeah, we're go I'm completely running blind. This sounds good. Um is it broken? What's going on here? Should we should we be moving somewhere or uh, oh, here we go. Alright, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. 
Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. <laughs> All right. Jumps. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Bad at a jump button. <laughs> oh, my God. At least it's not the jump rope from Odyssey. God, I, I, I still... I suck at the jump rope from Odyssey. And there we go. Now we can't jump anymore. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Isn't that how Mr. Beast originally got famous? Now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. New content! Oh shit! Oh, you've got to be we did it! Me. You see, Stanley? We beat the game! This is what happens when greedy video game wow. developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than... I love how they say rush a cheap expansion. If you don't know, this game took like it. In fact, four I'm years right now to come out. Achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says... Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? <sighs> yeah, I remember it's I was waiting for this game for years. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, because I want to say, because they made a joke, because Stanley Parable came out the same year as The Last of Us. And then Ultra Deluxe was supposed to come out the same year as The Last of Us 2. And then The Last of Us 2 got delayed, and this got delayed. And then The Last of Us 2 came out, and this got delayed. And then this got delayed. And then it finally came out. Okay. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Okay, I wonder where we're going now. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap Nintendo Switch port? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games <laughs> had integrity. Back then, no, it all didn't. meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this does bring back memories. Their first dollar. The dem the demonstration. I for 
I, the one I, I think I remember Game Grumps playing the demonstration. That sounds right in my head. Don't play the game for five years. Yep. I must have that achievement by now. Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. I do... I'm pretty sure I also have this achievement, and you just got it by hacking the game. Like, that's how you have to do it. There is also an ending in the original game that you could only get by hacking it. And I think I ha... I, I don't know how we'll get that on the Switch port. Does that even exist? I don't know. I, I know, like, Doki Doki Literature Club, right? A game where you have to hack the code. Did some very interesting things. Some BAFTAs, nominees. New video game releasing today. The new Donk Times. Los Fichinaro's Time. Stanley Parable deals tough choice. Um, I don't remember which ending that is. I think that's Insanity. And he, I think this is the Another one I've been waiting for. Is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Yeah, no, this is the thing I'd been waiting, this is the thing I'd wanted to see, right? How do you, um, don't read any reviews except this one. How do you review a game like the Stanley Parable? To describe any part of it is to risk its ruination. To detail what it has to say about the game's design, the illusion of choice, and psychology of the game is to tell you too much. Comparison two are going to be woefully inadequate. Perhaps its closest cousin would be Dear Esther, but where Dear Esther waits time to form interactive entertainment, Stanley Parable uses the subvert it, use them to subvert it, where so many games that aspire to be more than games and end up then less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created, and so holding the game to the standard of any other title is simply not going to be correct. So how do you review what has become known as the Stanley Parable HD, the full-scale reimagining of one of the most um, intriguing mods available online? How do you discuss it, analyze it, and recommend it? That's quite simple. You don't. 10 out of 10. Perfect. I had heard about this. I remember uh, James Stephanie Sterling. They had talked about how they had they had been asked by the creators, you know, can we put this in? Uh, what pronouns do we use when addressing you? And yeah, no, this is all really cool. And yeah, so having a little church is actually really neat. Memory zone maintenance. Actually, can't. Okay. Nope, nothing there yet. Person of the year. Doors. Here's another moving passage. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Nintendo Switch. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Textures. Source, yeah. 
I have always been someone who wants to go the wrong way for some games when I sense that a game is trying to usher me down a particular path to get me to run from left to right or maybe to charge straight ahead and to satisfy my instincts to go against the grain to explore to see what the designers have put back the other way. Sometimes I find a one-up or a collectible stashed away to reward me for my intrepid behavior. At other times my explorations are rewarded but only by the crushing disappointment running up against an invisible wall. Whatever I find or don't find, my action is a manifestation of my desire to exert some independence to make my own choice within a system that severely limits my options and encourage certain specific behaviors. The Stanley Parable feels alive in its responsiveness to your choice and its desire subverts your expectations and keeps you on your toes. I think the Stanley Parable is a sort of video game analog for Charlie Kaufman or Spike Jonze's brilliant film adaptations, which gently mocked the ways in which so many films manipulate the audience with formulaic plot twists and situations in which characters learn huge life lessons, while simultaneously moving within its formulaic plot twists and situations in which characters learn huge life lessons. Stanley Parable is both a rich, stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and in other systems like two in our workplace or in our families, and a game that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I have ever been confronted with in a game. Going the wrong way has never felt so right. Um, the serious room. Oh, is that maybe... Was that the ending I was talking about earlier? That sounds uh, like it. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. But now Wait, this is all about nostalgia. On. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no, oh god no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh, I can't Steam. Even what's being oh my god, these are going to be the bad Steam reviews. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh my gosh. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh, those ones actually those ones actually say Steam on the back. Yeah, it looks like the front ones say pressurized gas, but the back ones actually do say Steam. Like in the skybox. Can't even make that one out. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always...